Anna. And I'm Mark. And we're from You Parent. Well, this is the parenting channel from our vlogging channel, which is Mother of the World. So would this be plugging? We're vlogging. No, no, no we're oh. parents, so we're plugging. We're plugging along, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. It's the Goofy Humor Channel. channel. So, um, yes. in all seriousness, we are here uh, to answer some questions. And one of the questions was, in light of what's going on in Colorado with this tragic shooting, mm -hmm. people want to know, like, how do you protect your kids, the little ones, from news coverage? Like, how do you protect kids from, uh, you know, news coverage like this? And, you know, and well, this you? specifically or news coverage in general? Well, let's talk about this specifically and, because it does apply to okay. other things. Let's preface this by saying that our thoughts and prayers go out to all the victims of uh, the Colorado Massacre. Mm -hmm. It's a tragedy. Um, there's been some talk on the internet of how much you expose your children to, how much they get exposed mm -hmm. to, and how to handle it. Um, mm, at first, my, I'm thinking that the amount of exposure that your child gets um, to this event depends on their, their age, both chronologically and, yeah. and also their um, their level of maturity. Exactly. Um, only you can know what they can handle, and if they'll take away the right lessons from this. Um, for instance, uh, anyone who's watched our channel before knows we have a wide range of ages. They don't watch the news. They don't make a habit of watching the news. And since they're out of school for the summer, they don't talk about current events unless it involves Justin Bieber or uh, mm -hmm. Selena Gomez which is a whole other subject unto itself that we won't get into. Um, but, so, uh, other than my teenager and my 20-something, the others know nothing about it. And I don't know about you, but I prefer it that way. I don't yeah, think they I do, need to but know. They know nothing about it because we're not, you know, turning on the news and turning on the radio with that coverage in front of them. And otherwise, right. they're watching, like, regular kid programming while this is going on because, well, especially with us with children who have, who are adopted and have some kind of tragic background to begin with. That's true. It's, you know, intense. But it is important to, I think, talk to them just age-appropriate terms. And sometimes it's really difficult not to let it impact them if they've been exposed to it. Parents will disagree on this, but I don't feel that they need to be scared um, to be afraid of going to the movies in general. And I think that's what the younger ones would take away from this. Um, I th and I think that would be a mistake. I don't want my kids to be afraid to go to movies. I just want them to exhibit a certain level of common sense and general safety awareness. Um, and so that's, if and when we expose them to something like this, that's, we would do so in a way that that's what their takeaway would be. Not, don't go to the movies because some guy may come and shoot the place up. I, right. I, I, there's, a, there's a level, though, that with the times that we're living in that kids need to be both, we want them to live a happy childhood and, a, and simultaneously be street smart and aware, but not to the point of paranoia. And I think it depends also on where you live. Like if we were living in the middle of some parts of some big major cities, going to some movies. There might be more to be afraid of. Yeah, you have to have your guard up and you'd be aware, but there's no way that these people could see this coming at all. There right. Just be no way. And so, but if, what all of this makes reminds me of was then we lived in New York City during September 11th, and mm -hmm. um, Sam was, oh gosh, I don't know, 11 at the time, Ish, yeah. and then um, 10, 10 or 11, and okay. then Andrew was three or four. And the thing was is that we did have some of the news on, but Andrew was three, and I didn't think he would absorb, absorb it. Yeah. And my our experience was pretty profound because he ended up. I remember he was just making, making Legos, and I was actually watching this. Um, and he came to me with this tower. Uh, remember, he made built the, Legos. Yeah. yeah, he had like the twin towers, and he put the man, the Legos man, on the top. And mm -hmm. I said, "Well, what's this?" And he was so little. He says, "This is the fireman saving all of those people." And and he also he said he goes, "Mommy, did anybody get their head hurt from that accident?" Really, I don't remember. That. Yeah, so. It does impact them. And then after a while, I remember we had to make some flights after that, after we moved out of New York City. And it created a lot of stress for them. Now, they were not 
when they were across the river from this accident, from this terror, but it impacted them because they were exposed to it. So I think um, it, there is a potential when kids are overexposed to certain things, depending on, like you said, their demeanor and who they are, right. that they can um, make it, they could really affect them. So you have to guard their I hearts. know adults that have been profoundly affected that weren't, that they didn't know anyone in the Twin Towers and yet came away from that event profoundly changed. Yeah. And not for the better. Right. Um, and then, so then, the way that as parents, um, the, we also have to watch our intake of that kind of news because we could take it in so much that it could really affect us. And then it does. Mommy and Daddy, why are you so sad? That sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. And so we all need to protect ourselves from that and yet be aware and obviously not live in, in the dark about certain things, right? Right. So, you don't want to be ignorant. Um, you need to be aware of what's going on, but at the same time, you don't want to inundate yourself to the point of depression. Right. So parenting the kids, look at age appropriate, t tell them age appropriately if they start to ask questions. Try your best not to expose them to all of the news and, and, and you know, if you need to talk to them, have your own private conversation about it. Um, as far as making them aware of protecting themselves in public these days, again, it's age appropriate conversations and um, you know there are some accidents and some tragedies that happen that we have no control over and that's the scary part it's really yeah teaching and them that sometimes we don't have control and that's the scary thing for kids that's true um, and that said I think every parent is going to think twice before they let their kids go to a late night event of any kind, whether it's waiting online at Best Buy to be the first person to get the new Apple device or any other movie. You remember when we were kids, the, the big thing was to get dressed up and go see the Rocky Horror Picture oh, Show. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone went and acted crazy and nothing like this tragedy happened, Yeah. but now everyone's going to think twice. That's true. There's some psychologists that suggest that acts like this are really just a, that, that somebody really is craving attention. However. In other words, it's like they need, they have this need to, I, I, I don't, I don't, but I, mm -hmm. it also, I've, I've seen things like this where it, the parents have been loving and kind and it's just, you know, and attentive and tried to reach out, but the, I would imagine it's, it's, so it's hard to second guess something like we this. We pray for them too. You know, I, and it, it's, it's true. We do pray for them. Okay, so um, we will be here again on You Parent. We are going to be making content on parenting, but also uh, we're going to stick to the roots of what this channel is, which is really um, your child involved in YouTube and parents involved in YouTube. So just be looking for different playlists that we have. Um, but we want to include it all. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. And if you don't know who. You know, if you want to know more about our family, go over to Mother the World. YouTube.com Mother the World. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay, kids, mom and